Hey yo, what is happening guys? This is Eli Nietzsche coming at you with another video. So today, I actually went up on Twitter just to see the new stuff that's uh, being announced. And then I saw a tweet from Kingdom Hearts uh, Twitter account as well as Square Enix actually also posting this. So as you can see right here, they actually said that Kingdom Hearts 3 will have a playable demo at E3. As you can see, fans can get their very first chance to play. Kingdom Hearts 3 at Square Enix's E3 2018 booth. Hope to see you there. Now, I actually went down to the comment section down below and a lot of people did ask for a demo afterward. Actually a lot of people wanted a free demo uh, for the rest of the world not only exclusive to E3 and seen by all of these comments and all of their thoughts about it I honestly think that a lot of people want this as a PSN demo and I'm actually I'm actually one of the people who actually want it as well but the question being will Square Enix listen to us and actually let Kingdom Hearts 3 have a demo uh, I'm not too sure if they will but we can actually think about it for a second alright so Kingdom Hearts 2.8 final chapter prologue did not have a demo we know that but if we have to actually look at this type of stuff that Square Enix has been doing it within recent years uh, not only for Kingdom Hearts but within Kingdom Hearts they did never they barely did any demos whether it's exclusive to the PSN or not however if you had to look at recent activities within other franchises that Square Enix has created there's quite a bit of stuff that you can see such as the Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest stuff which I'll get back into a little bit soon but a lot of people want there to be a public demo after E3. I honestly want there to be a demo for people who do not attend E3. Now, like I said, I am from South Africa, so I cannot uh, actually go to E3 and play Kingdom Hearts. If I was given the opportunity, yeah, I would. But honestly, I cannot because, like I said, I live in another country and everything like that. But let's see the probability of a demo for Kingdom Hearts 3. First off, a lot of video games from Square Enix has recently begun open betas and demos, such as Dissidia NT had not only one or two, but three open betas. One was very early on, before the game was initially released. One was in Japan, and then one week after the Japan uh, beta, we actually got in the West. However, there was also the Dragon Quest Heroes 2 demo, which was actually free to actually download on the PlayStation Network. And this was actually for Dragon Quest, another RPG, JRPG that was made by Square Enix. So this was actually free, uh, this was no strings attached to it. But then we actually went back to Final Fantasy XIV. Now this is, was very uh, different, so up to level 30. You could play until your character was at level 30, but then there was also some areas you couldn't actually go towards. This was more of a trial than than a demo, but still it was free, so yeah, I still downloaded it. But then there was also the Platinum demo, which was actually a demo, yet it still had some story to it, Final Fantasy 15, but it was free. It promoted the game, we saw a little bit more about Noctis as a kid, and that was actually a really good thing. But then there was also another IP of Square Enix instead of Final Fantasy, which was Nier Automata, and this was Demo 12016 or just say it in single digits. This was actually another Square Enix property that had a demo back on the PlayStation Store. I think they still have it. Uh, you can download it if you want. Then there's also the World of Final Fantasy. Now this was a very interesting one because World of Final Fantasy was announced alongside the Final Fantasy 7 Remake I believe back in E3 2015 alongside with Nier Automata. And then both Nier Automata and World of Final Fantasy both had a demo within the PlayStation Network Store. 
but then there was also Lost Fear, another IP that is not as big as Final Fantasy is in Square Enix's eyes. But this was an amazing turn-based game that I really did enjoy, and it was actually pretty good, and again, it's a Square Enix property. So this actually was a good demo. Then there was Dragon Quest Builder, now this was actually on the PS4 and the PS3, also on the PS Vita I believe. So this was actually another Dragon Quest IP, this was more like Minecraft stuff, uh, but then there was also another famous Final Fantasy and that was Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. This was a demo on the PlayStation 3. Now of course Final Fantasy is very close to Kingdom Hearts because there's cameos and references. When I say references, they just put Final Fantasy characters in it. But then there was also Final Fantasy 15 Judgment Disc. This was, I think, a Japanese exclusive. Uh, I know on the PSN store of, of the Japanese PSN that there is a Judgment Di Disc of Final Fantasy 15, a free version of Final Fantasy 15. The Judgment Disc is free to download there, uh, but the Judgment Disc itself is a really good demo but the question is will we get a demo for Kingdom Hearts 3 honestly I don't think we will but who knows Square Enix might want to promote it so much that they will actually make it a demo on the PSN store which I would definitely download I would be happy to do that so Square if you're watching this which I doubt please make it a free demo on the PSN please so anyway guys that is it for this video please leave a like helps me a lot comment down in the comment section down below what do you want do you want kingdom hearts 3 as a demo do you not want it do you want us to wait even longer to play this game uh, let me know in the comment section down below share with friends because sharing is caring and most importantly subscribe become a fellow lightning bolt anyway guys that is it for this video and as always this is lightning h8 blaze out